Hey guys, I want to show you the new tools that we've created for Motion Builder to help us speed up the um, animation creation process. I will open a scene. This, by the way, is the snake walk for Ekaterina. Hold on all the turns and shift direction. I create packages for each animation state. Anyway, I will add in the, the control panel. I will start with the latest tool that I finished tonight. It's uh, a HUD heads-up display for Motion Builder to help me visualize the information for the specific take. It's added on the perspective camera. So the first thing you can see, and it's uh, this orange line will represent the um, the cut, the animation cut, and uh, the blue and green. The blue is head of the animation and tail. We use the orange part inside Unity, but we leave the extra so we can blend in if it's required. If some animation needs more blending, you have some extra animation in there. All right, so this information is set like um, the start and end pose and the number of steps from a pose tool that I've created to help me set up the pose names. The process starts with extracting poses from the animation, then using those poses uh, on all the, the animation sets to have a smooth transition. Make sure that the hands match the feet. So yeah, let me show you how this works. A take where we don't have a, a pose set, so not available is what you see when you don't have this information added in. For example, this animation starts on the left foot, so it's sneak walk left foot down. I need to go in and select that pose. Left foot down, I will add in the number of steps and click on get. This adds the information into the database and updates the heads up display. All right, so it's one, two, three, and ends on the right foot. So select right foot. You can see here the frame where I'm at, it's added into this box and into the database. So that's how I get the, the information there. Let me quickly show you that how we structure the MySQL. Okay, I can sort them by updated at. So you can see here that it adds the poses on columns for start and end pose, the start pose frame and end pose frame. These values are going to be used in Unity to set up the clip lens so you don't have to manually cut them inside Unity, you just use the information from the database. We have alias in case we change the name uh, of the animation outside Unity and then we have the import tool inside Unity which checks if the name changes, if there is a take that doesn't match with the name that's already inside Unity, we'll also check for the column on alias and see if we can find the information in there. The animation start and animation end column. If you change the start and end inside Unity, is going to be stored in the database as well. So, All right, uh, the column for steps number, we store like you saw, we store um, the number of steps. This information are going to be used in uh, a tool that we create to check if animation set matches. So if we have like Idle plant and turn 45. Uh, you want to check if uh, blends with the 90 degree. You check the number of steps and the poses that is going to to start and end on. So if you have an animation start on a different foot, you you will see it inside the checking tool before you get it inside Unity and see that the blending tree doesn't work properly. 
Okay, so that's about setting poses. Uh, after the pose has been set into the database, the animation is still the same. Uh, I can show you that if I open the REPL. If I check pose from database, it will tell me that uh, start and end pose is not matching. At this point, I created a, a new layer and I will check apply keys. This is going to check uh, for the poses and apply a key on start and end. So if I go here, I, it applied a, a full body key and fixed my poses. So now if I do another check without applying keys, Basically, it compares the information uh, from the pose with the information on the control rig and we'll say if it's a match or if it has error in it. This process can be applied as a batch on all the takes after getting the poses set on all the takes. I can apply keys and check all the takes in inside this FBX file and it will apply keys for me and fix the poses. The next thing I have to do is to go in and check if I have any foot sliding or some awkward foot movement it can happen from time to time if the poses doesn't match properly with what you have on the control rig it will stretch your legs and you need to fix it manually yeah so that's about the HUD other things that we have created is the pose controller this is going to help me to import the um, animations into the database, create unique IDs for all the animation and store them into the take comments. Uh, each take has a field for comments. So here I store the unique ID so I know how to communicate with the database, set new names and set start and end poses and so on. Uh, yeah, from here I can create new layers. It's not not a big deal, but uh, it's very tedious going on each take and clicking this button to create a new layer for you. So here you can specify the name of the layer, and I can check if uh, that take has already a number of layers on it. I will skip it and create it on the other takes that have less than the specified number of layers yes so after adding the keys on this layer I will use the, this button it's which is basically another script which merges all the information into one layer bakes the animation into the base layer delete selected takes will will delete them from uh, motion builder and also from the database okay another event that I created it's a heads up display for showing the angle so this is useful on turns it compares the angle for the beginning of the animation with the angle from the end of the animation of the hips so if we go in the rotate mode you see 50, 59 it's in local actually. So minus 59 and minus 0 0.48. So it gets that information and displays it for you so you can check if if it's a close angle like 135 and it's 131 it's fine but it will help you find big issues like it's a 10-15 degrees off uh, on the take and clips, I have other tools which help me editing the, the animations. I can zero the, the clips easily. So if you have a clip and you want it to bring it to zero, you click this. And uh, if, for example, the translation is somewhere off, you can zero it with this button. Another useful stuff that I have to do during editing. This text tree is, uh, is a list of 
takes where I can select them to do other processes on them. One of the processes is uh, mirroring the selected takes. We record one set of animations to the right. If you can mirror an, an animation, we, we record it once and then use Motion Builder to mirror the takes. Use this tool inside Motion Builder as it's pretty tedious inside Motion Builder to mirror a lot of takes and also we have some other features like a root bone that we use for um, direction of the animation so it will mirror that as well okay let me show you the name convention tool that we've created so this tool is for both uh, renaming poses and renaming takes I start renaming poses um, make sure that I have proper naming on all of them and are indexed into the database so then I can start assigning them to to the takes using the pose compare tool after uh, all the poses are assigned to takes I can start renaming takes as well the reason I set the poses first is that I want to use the extra information into the name of the animation. So this BRF and ERF means that begins on right foot and ends on the right foot. This is uh, showing how many steps the animation has. So after the name has been chosen in using these combo boxes, clicking the set button will submit this information to the database. That's about it, the, the tools we have made. I will uh, create other video tutorials showing how we are doing with the animation and yeah, thanks for watching.